Hello and welcome to the very first H2 No episode. Deacon, why did we start this show anyway? We wanted you to have the best water in your system, so we are testing water so you don't have to. The body is about 70% water, so water is a pretty big deal. So we don't want to waste your time. Deacon, what was the first type of water we decided to test today? We decided to get right to core hydration. Nice. Also, it's important to just say that we decided what better place to film the very first water video, H2 No, than right here. So, back to the water. We got core water here. Deacon, who makes core water? It's actually called core hydration. By the way, we're not doing any research on this. We're just buying different bottled waters and testing them out in interesting locations. Core, that makes sense. I don't know. Core. <laughs> core makes core. thing I noticed about this is it's just a nice, a well-made bottle. I mean, you can grip it right in the middle. It doesn't easily slip out of your hand. It's you very can run full with too. it. It's very full. Like, it seems like there's a there's lot not in there. An air, like, uh, well, there's not as big an air bubble as some other bottles. It's maybe like right here. Lots of other bottles, they like waste lots of the space. A couple interesting things here. Perfectly balanced pH purified water. So they actually take the time to perfectly balance the pH. Core water also comes in multiple sizes. This was just the first one we grabbed in the gas station. I must say this, the bottle, is also made from 100% recycled plastic. And how many calories are in this bottle of water? This one's special, it only has zero calories per zero serving. Zero calories, very healthy. Very healthy. It's almost like uh, you could say you need it. Let's, first... let's just, we'll get our first impressions here. I like that, you got a nice tight seal there. Opens up, first thing I noticed, big opening there. Also, I just noticed this, I don't know if it was intended or not, but you could actually use the cap to drink your water out of. I'll be drinking from the cap today, I guess. That's good water. That's good water. It's very, it's, has a thickness to it. Does this say when you got this one? No, I think it's it just like it highly doesn't. processed. Yeah, it's probably pretty processed water. Like it's not, uh, you know, from like a glacier or a spring or anything like that. I don't know about you, but I can tell the pH, it's, they definitely have it right on to 7. They nailed it, yeah. I don't taste any acidity at all. No. I guess we should keep using our cups. So, what else do you notice about it? It's just like, it's like a different type of bottle. First of all, yes, the cap, and it's a lot easier. You have that extra like leverage, so like you don't need to use your teeth to get the cap off like many normal water bottles yes these are teeth can you open a bottle of water yes okay that's good to know that that is an important right. thing so if you're a water bottle opening handicap this would be a good one for you because you got a lot of surface area to get a good grip on i know a lot of time the part where you sip from is like hard or like sharp i mean but this is like really rounded off so you don't cut yourself it's a uh, child safe it's wow. an easier, easier opening uh, cap. The more we talk about it, it sounds less and less manly. I've never personally cut my lip on a bottle of water. It's definitely good water. I like the co uh, colors of it. I like the colors. Yeah, it's nice blue shading. I like the blue. We already talked about the pH purified, seven stages of purification process. Ooh, that's pure. Uh, they do add electrolytes and minerals for taste. So that's probably where we're getting some of the taste. Tastes and then good. recyclable, BPA free. Something else I just noticed, you know, the label on here isn't very straight, Deacon. It's yeah. kind of crooked. And it kind of makes me wonder about their quality control issues. You know, I mean, it says it's purified and pe perfectly pH balanced and all this, but I mean, if you can't even get the label straight on the bottle, Seriously, it kind of makes me doubt, but it does taste very good. Um, I think we should also, you know, rate this on how pourable it is. All right, so we'll just do a pourable test. Pour test. And, uh, you know, because bottles may pour differently. Maybe this is one you want to share with a friend. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that pours pretty good. There's a little bit of drippage really nice. there. Very small Why don't you amount. give that a try? Okay, I'll give that. Well, I meant the pouring. But. <laughs> Let's try this pour. Nice. Good pourability. Great bottle to hold on to. 
So look, uh, bring some cups. You even got an extra cup for your favorite friend. That uh, use. That's what you use the bottle cap for the cup. So just to recap things, uh, I love how it looks. I love how it feels in your hand. Cups. Comes with its own cup. How many other bottled waters have that? I mean, come on. Uh, uh, seven stages of purification. Uh, perfect pH matches your body, 7.45. Uh, and, come on, I mean, it's core. Like, it's delicious. Core. Core hydration. Can't go wrong with core. I would recommend it so far. I would say to, to improve, you know, they could probably just straighten out the label a little bit. It just looks a little sloppy. That's about it. Uh, but I don't know. Most people may not notice that, but, you know, we're not most people. So we're, we're uh, enthusiasts. H2 know, and we know a lot about water. So this is core water and this has been a good time with H2 No. H2 No. Hopefully you can join us for many, many more of our quick, short and uh, relevant, relevant reviews of bottled water. We can join us next time for H2 No.